come with me let me show you how i cook my assorted meat stew so my meats they are all washed clean and ready to cook i have my shaki i have my cow meat and goat meat although it is not goat meat because they hardly kill goats in this part of the world but they tell you it's goat meat that's a big lie so i have my onions and ginger and garlic all blended i used red onions and now i'm putting in my thai my thyme and my curry powder and some seasonings as well you know my everyday seasoning i do not miss that and also my no cubes yes no cubes because i really want you know my meat to be well marinated well marinated it's always a struggle when you try to crush this um, seasoning cubes yes look at me i'm just massaging it into the meat so that the seasoning goes around the meat yeah so this is all my preps for my um meat boiling so i need to boil the meat first before making the stew and then i need to also you know i, I needed to also just stir it to keep stirring so that the seasonings marinate the meat so i cover it for about 15 to 20 minutes because this meat can be so hard and we need them tender so when i'm satisfied with with it i will then start you know cooking my stew but before then i also introduced stockfish so the reason why i'm introducing stockfish is because i'm not cooking or i'm not using the old meat everything in the pot for the stew i also want to make a goosey soup so that is in another video if you want to watch how i made my goosey soup check out my video my other videos so whilst that is cooking it's time to blend my peppers so it has come to my knowledge that some people don't know how to mix peppers and it's very important for you to mix your peppers you know in the right way or helps it to be too peppery or it's not going to turn out well for someone like me who likes hot food like pepperish food i use lots of peppers but at the same time i ensure to mix it with the right amount of paprika and and bell pepper so i usually mix with paprika and bell pepper yes and then i also mixed with some plums or you can decide to use um fresh tomatoes or tomato paste so my oil i introduced it into the pot and allowed it to 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 you know to eat up after eating up I then poured in my peppers and then added my little seasoning and curry powder and some salt as well so i'm going to leave that in the pot to cook for the next 15 minutes there about or 20 minutes as well yeah so now it's time to check my meat my meat is i believe tender now and well done so like i said i'm cooking something different so that's why i'm using two parts it's now time for me to separate my meat so that i can you know a portion the meat to the different meal I want to cook yes my pepper is also ready it's ready to, um, to go so I along the line I decided to add some some tomato paste usually if I'm cooking with tomato paste I would usually fry it before adding my peppers but it's fine you can also do it this way you know one way doesn't lead to the river you have several ways leading to the river like they say <laughs> so now it's time to introduce my meat i have separated the meat and now is it's time to meet um 
for me rather <laughs> to introduce my meat into my stew yeah and then added some chicken stock i didn't use all the chicken sorry did i say chicken <laughs> meat stock <laughs> Yeah, I didn't use other meat meat stock because I was going to use it to cook ecosy soup, like I told you already. Yeah, so it's time for you to cover it up and allow everything, you know, marinate to get the marinate mar marinate. So you keep it for the next, or you leave it on the fire for the next five to ten minutes. And yeah, that's it. This is how I cook my stew. So thanks for watching my video. If you, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Till I see you some other time. Also, please share my video. Okay, bye.